Whedon Island Preserve is home to the state-of-the-art cultural and natural history center, five miles of walking trails, and four miles of canoe paddling trails. Nestled on the shores of Tampa Bay in northeast St. Petersburg, Whedon is home to 3,700 acres of land, including 2,600 acres of coastal habitat, including mangroves, seagrass beds, and salt marsh. You are probably aware that Florida's coastal habitats, like those at Whedon Island, protect residents from preventing storm surge, shoreline erosion, and regulating water quality, all while providing a beautiful landscape for people to enjoy. These ecosystems also provide critical habitat for animals like dolphins, manatees, and seabirds, providing an area for them to feed and raise their young. However, did you know that coastal plant ecosystems also play a vital role in reducing the effects of climate change? Coastal blue carbon is a new term for carbon captured by living coastal and marine organisms and stored in coastal ecosystems. Mangroves, seagrass beds, and salt marsh take up atmospheric carbon and store it in their systems throughout their life cycle. These plants also trap fine, muddy sediments in their root structures. Mangrove forests and their sediments are able to store up to four times more carbon than terrestrial forests. Seagrass beds grow in shallow waters throughout Tampa Bay and store up to three times more carbon than terrestrial forests. Across the globe, coastal ecosystems are being threatened by development and lack of awareness. When they are destroyed, their valuable ecosystem service of carbon storage is lost and they release all the carbon they have been storing for thousands of years. However, thanks in large part to the restoration and management efforts of the Tampa Bay Estuary Program, mangrove, seagrass, and salt marsh ecosystems in Tampa Bay are recovering and thriving. These critical coastal habitats will be preserved for the benefit of future generations.